get down to it. And what you'll see, and remember no calculator for any of this. So what you'll see here on your screen is a number chain. So I'm going to do the first one for you just to show you how it works. So the first number is 15,000. And it says that you must double 15,000. And if we double 15,000, what do we get? Put your answer in the chat. What is double 15,000? Put it in the chat. Okay, let's see. Yes, it's 30,000. Okay. And then the chain goes double that again and again and again. Okay, so I'm going to leave you here for about 30 seconds. See if you can finish the chain in 30 seconds. Your final answer must be 1920. Off you go. Don't put anything in the chat just now. Just uh, do it on your own there where you are and make sure that you get a final answer of 1920. Yeah, everybody just hold your answers. Don't put any answers in the chat now. You're just working on your own. And I think our 30 seconds are up. Is there anyone who got to the end? 1920 is their final answer. <laughs> okay, let's give it a few more seconds. When you get to the end, put a thumbs up in the chat. Anyone else who's done, just put a thumbs up in the chat. Okay, good stuff. Right, everybody, if you didn't finish, that's okay. We're all going to do another one. So you do get another chance to try it. This is just to warm up your brain. So we said 30,000 and we double that. That is 60,000. Okay, and put in the chat, when we double, when we double 60,000, what do we get? I pretty much gave it away there. But if we double 60,000, pop it in the chat, what do we get? Double 60,000. Offense says it's 120. I agree. Whoops. Don't know what happened with my screen there. 120,000. And then when we double that, that's 240,000. And when we double 240,000, put it in the chat. What happens next? That's 480,000, good stuff. And when we double 480, what do we get? 960,000, there we go. And then if you double 960, do you get 1,920,000? Yes. Okay, good stuff, everybody. Right, so that was a bit of doubling. Now, let's go. We're going to go the other way now. We're going to halve. Okay, so here's the next one. Ready, steady, go. This one should be quick. No answers in the chat. Just do it there on your own, and I'll ask for answers when everyone's ready. 
-hmm. Well done, Kahiso. Excellent. Put a thumbs up in the chat when you're done. See Homo and Olathando. Dan and Tara Jane, Nicholas. Okay, five more seconds for everyone else. Okay, good stuff. I wonder if there's someone who wants to uh, put up their hand and unmute and tell me their answers. Any volunteers? Ah, Sikuseto was first. <laughs> Kahiso, be on standby in case um, you need to maybe assist Sikuseto. But Sikuseto, you go for it. What is the first answer? One million five and five hundred. One million five hundred. Well done. And if we half that, what do we get? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Kahiso, can you help? Yeah, I still have to calculate that. Say again? I still have to calculate that. Um, Ms. Kat, did you hear that? I wasn't sure what that was. Um, no, it says he thinks he needs to calculate that. Guys, you must thumbs up if you're done with everything. You guys are cheating yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. We must do everything. Precious, you're up next. Let's see, Precious. Have you got all the answers? Precious, you can unmute. The answer for number two is 7,500. 750,000, okay. And in the last one, what's half of 750,000? Um, Matthew says it's 350. Okay, I'm going to ask Afense to help. Afense, what is half of um, 750,000? I think it is 500,000. Half of 750. Let's try again. Nicholas, you've got your hand up. Let's hear half of 750. Nicholas. Is it 375,000? Yes. Can you tell us how you did that? Nicholas, can you tell us how you calculated that? I divided 300, I mean 700,000 by two, and then I also divided 50,000 by two. Okay, and so then this is what you, the numbers. And then you added the two together. Well done. Okay, so this is what Nicholas did. He took the 700, because 750,000 is a bit of an odd number, right? So we need a plan. So his plan was to break the number up. So 700,000, the half of that is 50, 350,000. And then half of 50,000 is 25,000. And then he put it back together again and that gave him 375,000. Okay, well done. Alrighty. So doubling and halving, that's why we started with it. It's because it is very useful when we do multiplication and division. 
So we're going to do quite a bit more of that. Um, but for now, we're just going to um, move away and do something a little bit, um, maybe a little bit more um, relaxed. And that is to order some numbers. OK, so on your screen, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers. And I want you to arrange those numbers from smallest to biggest. Or well, another word for smallest to biggest is ascending. Okay, I'm going to leave you to work on your own uh, till about, uh, yeah, let's make it 25 past. It is now 17.22. So at 17.25, um, we're going to come back and see how you did. I've got some hands up. Let's see, Tara Jane. Everyone else, you can start. I'm going to take some of these questions. Tara Jane, you have your hand up. Sorry, that was for the last question. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So guys, just remember to take your hand down after um, a question, but it's all good. I'm sure by the second lesson, we are all going to be into the swing of things. Okay, so it's been two minutes, so let's see how you guys did. So in the chat, put the number that must go first. Okay, so um, be careful here. There's a three at the end and here's a seven at the end. So the one that is the smallest is going to be one, four, two, two, four, two, three, and then one, four, two, two, four, two, seven. Okay, so we've got that one and we've got that one. Okay, let's move on. What comes next after one, four, two, seven? Great, Tara Jane, I agree. Two, seven, six, three, three, two, one. And then after that, we've got that one. And then the three, but there's two threes here. So three, let's say some of these numbers, 3,901,943, 3,901,943, 3,901,943, 3,901,943, and this one is 3,910,943. So this one is smaller. So that one must go first. Okay, so three, nine, zero, one, nine, 
four, three. Okay, so we, we're just saying it like that now, reading the digits, but you must definitely practice saying them um, with the millions and the thousands, etc. Okay, so the next one is 3,910,943. Okay. Right, what's going to come after that? Siseko is ready with an answer, and so is Bontle. Fence, <laughs> well done. Okay, guys, remember there's no rush. You don't have to, um, it's not a competition. So just um, take your time and rather make sure that you give the correct answer. So the next one, um, it's probably between these two with the 5 million. So 5 million. 321,101 must go first, and then 5,321,110 is bigger, because 101 and 110, 110 is bigger. Okay, right, almost there, almost there. Um, we only have two left, and I think from here on it's quite easy, because this one is clearly smaller than that one. So it's 7,999,001. And 9,214,652. Okay, excellent. Well done. Give yourself a little gold star there if you got them all right. And um, yeah, excellent. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more place value just to remind us because in grade seven, everything is about numbers and then starting to move on to algebra. So it's very important that you can work very nicely with numbers. So we are going to just do this quick exercise um, here on in this block that I've now numbered one. I want you to tell me Everyone, <laughs> nice gold stars, everybody. That's excellent. Um, I want you to just tell me in the chat, we'll do it all together. What is the value of the underlined digits? So give it to me in numbers. I'll do the first one. So remember how we have the, maybe I should do the columns quickly just to remind everyone about place value. So we've got the millions and then we've got the hundred thousands, hundred thousands and the ten thousands and the thousands. And then we have hundreds, tens and units. Okay. So if we are looking at, always go from the back and then you can, uh, it's easier to see. So eight, seven. So if it's in that second place there, I see a lot of you know already, well done. So if it's in the second place, then that must be tens. So that must be 70. I see quite a few of you got it right and have moved on to the second question. You must just hold your horses while I explain. Um, just remember not to put anything in the chat yet until I ask the question. Okay, so just hold your horses, everyone. <laughs> Everyone's super keen. And we want everyone to be able to participate. Okay. So, Kara uh, Betswe has her hand up. Do you have a question? Kara Betswe? You can unmute. No, I found the. I found the answer. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Okay, now for the next one, question B, let's just give everyone a chance to catch up. Some of you have given the answer already. So for question B, and if we go from the back, that is definitely in the millions. So that is one million. Okay. Let's all meet in the same place with C. So for C, what does the seven represent? Put it in the chat. Some say 70, some say 700. Remember, go back to um, 
your place value. If you really are struggling, then write it there for yourself, right there. Um, and start at the back, units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So if it's the, the seven is in the hundred thousands place, so that must be 700,000. Okay, good stuff. Next one, question D. It's our second last one. 90,000. And also, guys, get into the habit of making the space. Okay, the groupings of three with the zeros, make the space between those so that we, um, so it's just easier to read the number. Okay, I agree, 90,000, well done. And then lastly, question E, what does the five represent? Think carefully. If you didn't get the first few right, think carefully about this one and give it another go. Five thousand. Good stuff, everybody. Good stuff. Okay. Okay, let's do this one next. This is our question two. And this time, I'm just going to give you two minutes to work on your own and to do question A, B, and C. No answers in the chat yet. Just work on your own and write down the numbers given by the words. Write them in digits. And in about two minutes, we'll meet back together and see what you got. Okay, good stuff, everyone. And um, I'm again going to ask for some volunteers. So raise your hand if you want to give the first answer. Um, you, Anita. Let's hear you, Anita. What is the first answer? It's two hundred and five, nine hundred and one. Nine hundred and one, like that. Did I do it right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Fence, you next. Give us question B's answer. Three three million five hundred and thirty thousand and ninety. And then what digits did you write? Just read the digits for me. Three five three zero zero nine zero. Three million five hundred and 3,000, so I think we just need to, maybe I heard you wrong, but I think it must be 503,000 and 90. Good stuff. And then Litabo is next. Give us the last one, Litabo. Um, as I say, the number. Yeah, just give me the digits that I must write. Okay, I said 32007. Seven, thirty-two thousand and seven. Well done, Natabo. That is right on the money. Excellent. I see some answers coming through in the chat as well. That's excellent. Okay, everyone else who didn't get a chance now to answer next time. Okay, put your hand up again, and um, hopefully you'll get a chance then. But well done, excellent, everybody. Really, really doing well. 
Okay, so we are going to move on to the last part of our lesson, which is some multiplication. And I thought we'd do some times tables to see how you guys are after the holiday with times tables. Okay, so I'm again going to give you two minutes and just try and do as many as you can in two minutes. No calculator. So no cheating. <laughs> Tanya, um, do you have a question about the this or can we um, can you uh, maybe Miss Kat, can you help Tanya with her question? I just want to get the class going on this. Okay, so it is now 1737. So two minutes. I want to see how many you can do. So at 1739, we'll call in and see where you are. Okay, give it a go. And no cheating. No answers in the chat, Velo. This is your own answers. No answers in the chat, guys. Just on your own there, write them down. And don't DM them to me either. <laughs> Just write your answers down where you are. See if you can do all 12 in two minutes. We are already about 30 seconds down. <laughs> Tara Jane says she's done. Go over your answers, Tara Jane. Matthew's done. And time is up. Okay. So let's go. Two times three is six. Remember, this is mental math. It's quick. It must be at the tip of your fingers, okay? Um, 16 is 8 times 2. 80 is 8 times 10. Tanya, I'll be with you just now. I'm going to give these answers first. Uh, 7 times 5 is 35. 4 times 5 is 20. Uh, 7 times 5 is 35. 3 times 10 is 30. 36 is 12 times 3. Uh, 55 is going to be 11 times 5, 9 times 2 is 18, 7 times 3 is 21, and 0 times 5 is 0. Okay, so if you didn't finish, doesn't matter. Um, it was just um, to see how quick you can do this. It be Just because you need to... Um, you know, with multiplication, you need to know them quite well. So this is just a bit of practice, okay? So no train smash if you didn't finish or if you only did a few. The point is that we're going to practice so that you can get better, okay? So write this down. Write down how many you did. Um, so number completed. And then the number you got correct. So of those ones that you did, how many did you get correct? Nice, Kausange. Right, Tanya, you've had your hand up for a while. Sorry about that. Let's hear what is your question, Tanya? Hi, ma'am. Ma'am, I raised my hand. Hey. Ma'am, ma I wanted to ask that um, yes. if I wanted to ask, um, are you going to give us any like worksheets or extra like, like homework today, later today? No, there's no homework um, at Watobi. You just have to keep up with what's happening in the lesson. And if there's anything you feel like you didn't um, really understand, you can go back and watch the recording. Your only sort of homework um, uh, 
test or whatever, that's your quiz. Okay. So it's the on on Wednesday you'll do your quiz. Okay. Right. Excellent, guys. We are now in um in in the zone for multiplication. So I've got a little problem here that I want you to work out. So it says Tandy buys four bags of bags of sour strips from the shop. You guys know what sour strips are, eh? Miss Kat, do you like them? I love them. I might I be addicted. Enough. And thanks for reminding <laughs> me. Guess who's getting a pack when I leave here? <laughs> so there's 16 in a bag. So you can you can like chow them till your tongue is like funny. <laughs> That happens. <laughs> okay, how many strips did she buy all together? <laughs> right, so everyone in the class, I want you to think about it for a second. And if you're quick with an answer, I want you to be quick with an explanation as well. So if you have said 64, I want to know how you did that. How did you work that out? Okay, Offense is going to explain how you worked it out. Yes, Offense. I I worked it out like a number sentence by first saying 64, I mean 12 times 4 equals block. Then I physically did a calculation 12 times 16 times 4, then I got 64. So how did you work, but how did you do that calculation? How did you say 16 times four? I put I put the 16, 16 at the top, then on the side there was a four. Oh, uh, so you did this. Okay. Yonita, did you do it a different way? I I said um 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 with which gave me 64. Okay, and how did you add those numbers together? Oh, sorry, sorry. I said um wait, 16. Yeah, 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 16 plus 16. I first said 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 6 12 18, which gave me 24. Then I said 3 4 5 6. 24 plus 6, which gave me 64. Yeah, so then you went 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 24, and then 10 plus 10 plus 10, I think, that gave you 40, and that was 64. Okay. Okay, good stuff. All of these are, are, are good strategies, guys. Let's hear Tabang. Did you do it a different way? No, Tabang's gone. Okay. Um. I've got another strategy that we can maybe use. I don't know. Is there anyone else want to share their strategy? Tanya, yes. Yo, Tanya. Ma'am, I said 16 times 4, so 10 times 4 equals 40. Then 6 times 4 is 24. There we go. So you broke the number up into a 10 and a 6, and then you yes, multiplied then it. Said, then I said 40 plus 24 equals 64. Okay, nice, guys. These are all really good strategies. Anyone else? Tabang? You have your hand up. Well done, Tanya. Thank you. Tabang? Hello, ma'am. I said 16 plus 16 got to 32, and then 32 plus 32 is equal to 64. Okay, so you, you group them together. Yes, ma'am. Um, but you also added, okay. And let's hear one more. Oratile. Oratile, you can unmute. Um. So, ma'am, I used the column method, I used three column methods. So it was, I used 16 plus 16 and then I got 32. Then I used on a, on the other side, I used 16 plus 16 and then I got 32. Then okay. I used the 32. Then I used those two 32s and then I plus 32 plus 32 equals to 64. 
Okay, good stuff. So that's almost like the one that I like to use, which is basically come, it comes down to doubling. Because if you can say, um, if you break the 16 up and you make it, um, the 16 times two is easy to work out. That's 32. So that's doubling the 16 and then doubling it again. So if you double the 32, then you get 64. And that's the same as 16 times four is 64. So that's just doubling and doubling again. Okay, so there's a few ways to do it. I want you to try and use the, the plan or the strategy that takes the least amount of time, okay? Because as you go up in, um, in school in grade seven and grade eight, et cetera, it does become a bit more, um, with maths, is a bit more time pressure, okay? So we've looked at a few plans here now. There's the column method, which I think might take a little bit long, but there are these other ones as well, breaking up the number or doubling the number and doubling it again. And so I want you to think of those and see which one maybe works better for you, okay? So I'm going to give you these five sums. We'll see how far we get. We've got two minutes left. So I'm going to stop you after two minutes. So just work for the next two minutes. Try and do the sums as best you can with one of those strategies that we just looked at. And then we'll see how far um, we get in the next two minutes before we have to end the lesson. OK. Okay, while everyone, your hand is up, what do you want to say to us? Seseko? Okay, I'm not sure if Seseko is there or can hear us. Yonita, you have your hand up as well. Um, yes, I just wanted to ask that if you're gonna do the quiz, are you gonna like send to everyone or are you just gonna do it like how you're doing it here? No, it's, you're gonna you're gonna get a link, um, an online link to it, and then you'll go into the program and you'll do it. Okay. Okay, don't rush, don't try and finish everything. Um, it's not about that, but well done, Nicholas, if you have finished everything. Okay, let's end it. Let's um, look at the first few answers. I'm going to do the first three, and then um, we can we can end it there. And you can take a screenshot of the last two and do them at home. Okay, so five times twenty-four. Um, it's okay, guys. Just be a little bit pressed for time. So keep your question, or if you want to answer next time, but. There's a few ways that you can do it. Uh, you can say five times 12 is 60. So if you double that, um, because double 12 is 24, then you get 120. So 60 is easy to double, right? It gives you 120. Um, 36 times five. So 
what I'm thinking is if you go 36 times 10 is easy to work with, that gives you 360, but we are timesing by five, so we can half that. So that is 180. And the last one for this evening, um, I think here as well, again, you can do it um, with any of the strategies we talked about. Um, let's maybe now use a breakup strategy. So if we go 30 times four, that gives me 120. And four times four gives me 16. And altogether, that's 136. Okay, so whichever strategy you used to work that out, that's good. And the last two, if you didn't do them, you can do them um, on your own just now, quickly after the lesson. Okay, wonderful. One last question from Tara. Tara, your hand is up. I'm sorry, ma'am, I raised up my hand by mistake. <laughs> okay. Right, everybody. Um, that's it from us for this evening. Well done on your first lesson at Toby. That was really excellent.